What you are looking at now is my 2D drawing and solid model of the object. If you look at the icon in the lower left corner of the screen, you can tell that the drawings being displayed are in paper space because a small right triangle is shown. The first thing to do is to erase both the large and small viewports. You can see that the drawings have disappeared from paper space. All that remains are two rectangles which I drew previously to serve as templates for when I redraw the viewports later on. To get back into model space, I will now click the model button. With that accomplished, notice that both drawings still exist in model space even though they were erased in paper space. Now I will erase both drawings from model space so that I'll have room to redraw both the 2D and solid. Now that the drawing is blank I am free to draw make the 2D drawing. So I'm going to draw a line from uh, this point with ortho on 2.125. Then I'm going to go up 0.625. I'm now going to draw another line. It doesn't matter how high. I'll repeat the command and draw another line from this corner. Next, I'm going to rotate the line on the left from its base point, minus 54. And I'm going to repeat the command and rotate the line on the right from its base point, 45. Using the fillet command with a radius of 0, I'm going to select the two lines and clean up the intersection. Now with the copy command I'm going to select that line and that one and move them up a bit. Again I'll use the line command and draw a line from this point up 0.75. I'll move to the right, doesn't matter how far. Pick a point. Again using the fillet command I'll finish off that corner. And again, using the line command, I'll draw a line like that. Now with the trim command, I'll select that line and that one because I want to trim from those lines the excess line here and there. Now using the offset command, I'm going to offset this line 0.625 in that direction. Again using the offset command, I'm going to move that line, copy that one and that one. Now using the fillet command one more time with a radius of zero, I'm going to clean that intersection and I'm going to clean that intersection. Also, I'm going to break that line, choose a first point from here and the second point from there. I'm switching to my hidden layer because I want to draw a line from this intersection down there. And then I want to trim from this line and that line, this excess material, the line there and there. Essentially the 2D drawing is complete except for the dimensions. Because of the limitation of time on this video, I'll put the dimensions in later and I made a new layer current. It has the name of solid and the color is magenta. What I'm going to do is trace over the polygon on the front view. And I'm going to be using a polyline to do it. Now I'm going to move that polygon to the right.
Using the same procedure, I'm going to trace over the small right triangle and move it to the right. Now I switch switching to the southeast isometric view because I want to extrude the new drawings. I'm going to extrude the polygon 0.75. Then I'm going to extrude the triangle 0.25. The two model solids don't make much sense, so I'm going to rotate rotate them counterclockwise. To do that, I'm going to use AutoCAD's 3D Rotate command. You can see from the drawing that when that 3 rotate, 3D Rotate command is used, you've got three different axes from which you can choose. I'm going to select the red one. It'll turn to yellow, and then I'm going to rotate both of them 90 degrees. Now the drawing looks right. Therefore, I'm going to select the small triangle from, uh, from the midpoint of the front edge, and I'm going to move it to the midpoint of the front edge of the polygon. The next step will be to use AutoCAD Subtract command to subtract from the polygon that small right triangle solid. So I'm going to subtract from that block, enter the small one. Enter. Now from the visual toolbar, we'll add some shading, and that looks pretty good. At this point, I'll move back to the top view and do the dimensioning of the 2D drawing. Having finished constructing the 2D solid model and dimensioning, I want to get back to paper space so as to view the drawings properly and make the make it ready for printing, so I'll click on the Layout 1 button. As you can now see, my template rectangles are still there. Now to create the two viewports, I'll type M View Enter and select two diagonal points to create the larger and smaller viewports. Now we double click inside the smaller viewport, switch to Southeast Isometric View, then we can pan and zoom to enlarge the solid model. To get back to paper space, we double click outside the small viewport. You must remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of 1 to 1, even though individual viewports can be set to different scales. You set the scale of the large viewport by clicking the properties button. The standard scale is found under miscellaneous, and that is where you set the scale, as I'm doing now. I'm going to set the scale to 1 to 1. Once the scale is set, we double click inside the large viewport to gain access, and then pan so that only the 2D drawing is visible in the large viewport. To accomplish this, it is sometimes necessary to move the solid. Now we double click again outside the large viewport to get back into paper space. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed following these instructions and want to make more solids, you can search YouTube under MD Guide for more tutorials or email me. Thank you for watching.